Cancer, it's Amanda here with your March 2019 room scope. This month in conjunction with our rooms, of course, I will be using the Pagan Tarot. And this is by, I have to read the names here, Gina Pace, Luca Romando, and Christiana, Cristiano Spadoni. As always, be sure to join me after this video uh, over on Vimeo for part two of your March reading. I will be pulling and interpreting one card from the gorgeous Fairy Ring deck. Uh, this one's by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like a succinct, if you remember one thing, one piece of advice from this reading, that's it. So you'll find the link below. And of course, all your 2019 readings are over there as well if you haven't had a chance to check those out yet. But let's jump in for Cancer. March 2019. Cancer. Which rooms want to talk to Cancer? So as always, keep in mind, Cancer, this is not a private reading. This is a general reading for thousands of people. So not all these messages or even themes are going to be for you. Um, it's going to be for the majority, usually, and then messages for individuals. So uh, that's why I always encourage you to check out the video for your rising sign as well. Sometimes your messages will be coming through that video instead of your sun sign. Um, but these are very much entertainment only sample readings. That's why they're free. So if you are needy, if you're dealing with something or circumstances that you need more guidance on that it's just for you, you're always gonna need to get a private session. This is the only way I can connect with just your energy. I do those on Skype. Just email me to set up your appointment. The link is here in the video, also below in the description box. But in general, for some or the majority of those of you who identify with cancer in some way, challenge your focus. We've got the Six of Wands. So you're trying to gain a victory or win the upper hand in something or win something. Um, for some of you, this could be a home. You may be purchasing property. You may be trying to get a property that you feel is rightfully yours in a settlement or in some sort of uh, inheritance or that's been willed to you. You may be trying to get your earnings regarding that. Some of you, this could be some sort of payout or insurance claim if you filed a claim uh, regarding, yeah, damages related to anything that's insured, a home, property, a vehicle, if something was damaged or something was stolen. Um, so this is coming up as your challenge. Now the challenge doesn't mean that you're not gonna get it. I, I, I don't know, people kind of always go to that negative place. You know, there's, there are challenges every bloody day for all of us. It just means that this is gonna be a focus at some point. Um, it is gonna maybe take a little more time or focus for you in the month of March. It may just be one day that you're having to deal with this, um, or it could be kind of weaving in and out. Others of you, this could be a project or a goal that you're trying to achieve in a home business. So, uh, yeah, you may be wanting like the big project or trying to land a big client or trying to, uh, if you're in real estate, sell your first property, sell your first home. March is a big month here in the Northern Hemisphere where sales and things of property and people start putting their houses on the market and things like that, it's springtime. Um, so yeah, the, it may be picking up if you're in real estate. Uh, for some of you, this could just be you're trying to get a victory or a win, but it's something that's kind of out of your hands. You're either waiting on a decision or there's delay and a bit of frustration around this because you don't have control over it. You don't have the final say. You gotta get somebody else's stamp on it. Uh, this could have something to do also with status or immigration because I'm getting like, I'm just seeing a green card. So for some of you, this could be like, you know, maybe there have been delays around that, like a, a visa or a work status situation if you're from another country and living somewhere else. So yeah, there, and it's something that, it may be a situation that in March, Cancer, you come to the point where, you know, I've, do, I've done all I can do. Now all I can do is just kind of wait for the outcome, right? And um, 
perhaps for some of you, the challenge is just to realize like, well, if they don't give me the project, then there's nothing more I could have done about it. Or, you know, if I don't sell the house, like I really put my all into this. So really, I guess the advice that I'm getting here is, or I filled out all the paperwork for the visa, I've done all I can do. So my advice, or the advice coming through for this is, do all you can do and then let it go in March, whatever this is. Uh, with the Six of Wands, it is normally though something that we want really badly or something that, maybe it's just something that we want to be done with and uh, you know achieve that kind of level of, oh, finally that's out of the way. So, but for many of you, this seems to be, I think something that you're excited about because in the present energy, you have this sun card, major arcana. So the present energy would be end of February going into March-ish. Again, so many people, the time frames are not gonna be exact. For some of you, this whole reading could have happened in February or, or could be happening in April. Again, it's the majority. I don't know if you're the majority or not because you're all individuals, but yeah, this is recognition, promotion, graduating, uh, getting approval, getting, improving your status. Um, but also feeling carefree and having fun. So it's not going to be, whatever this challenge is, I don't feel it's going to cover the, like color the whole month. Again, especially if you feel like I've done all I can do, I've put in everything that I can put in. For some of you, this has connections to school too. So maybe you are going off to college in the fall and you are, there's a school you really want to get into, but you may just be like, well, I've done all I can do. I've done the best I can do with my grades. I've filled out everything they told me to fill out. I've, you know, I've got all the credits or got all the requirements. I can't control whether or not they accept me or not. I, I've done the best I can do. So yeah, just do your best and let it go. Again, just to reiterate, this also has a lot of connections to children. And um, so for some of you, it could be like you're having fun with your kids. Maybe you're planning a party. Uh, for one of your kids, maybe you've got a kid uh, that's a Pisces or an Aries with a birthday in March and you're planning a birthday party for them. Um, There's a big step that you're taking. For some of you, it's moving. So I do think for many of you, if there's some kind of hold up on a bid not being accepted or some kind of deal that seems to be delayed, uh, like it is going to come to pass, but yeah, there may be, maybe, like maybe you can't move in for 90 days or there's a longer delay. Um, what I'm feeling is like just scheduling, like maybe if you have a home that you're selling, it's like you sell that, but then you have to be out of your house sooner than the one you've closed on will be ready or the uh, sooner than the people will be out of that property. There, there's something about scheduling that I think is gonna come up that's gonna delay the, or just maybe add some stress, unfortunately, to the shift or change. Uh, do keep in mind if there is a bid, if you're outbid on a purchase or outbid on a property and it falls through, I, you know, it just means there's going to be something better coming your way or something that's going to more fit the bill than what you're thinking. A lot of time, what I'm feeling is, which is almost always the case, anything that falls through like that, we're dodging a bullet. So maybe it's like you would be living next to a nasty neighbor or maybe the ha there was something wrong with the property that they were hiding and now it's someone else's problem. Uh, so keep in mind that there are things that maybe you can't see if something like that happens. Um, I think March, again, let it go. Again, that's we've done all we can do. We bid the highest that we can bid. Uh, we can't possibly go any higher. Uh, trust that because you're not gonna lose out on anything that's meant for you. I, 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 that comes up a lot in, in these readings because uh, it, it really is just true. Um, things like that that are meant for you, you'll find that they come to fruition. Not always easily, but uh, they, you do end up where you're supposed to end up. So 
this is also for many of you though uh again landing a client uh making a change going like leaving a job to especially to start a home business you may be feeling in march that i don't know if i'm going to be able to do this maybe you've already planned or turned in your notice and now it you, you know at first you were really excited about it but now you may be getting a little bit nervous about it uh Many of you, I think you're, you may be traveling to an event also. Again, perhaps to celebrate a birth or uh, a child's party or uh, a, a graduation for someone that you would view, again, as a, a young person or a child, at least to you. Or it's someone close to you, it's their child. But many of you, there's there's also an opportunity for uh, promotion, but it would involve either relocation or moving to a different office, or you take a new job that is a step up. Because again, recognition and promotion. It's like if I'm not getting it here, I'm gonna take this other job. Um, again, if something falls through, a job, or something you thought was a sure thing, it's almost always dodging a bullet because of things that you're not aware of. The help that's going to be available is reiterating that actually we've got the two of swords. So this is um, being guarded and feeling blocked, maybe perhaps again with legalities, anything bureaucratic, anything, any kind of documentation. This is coming up as a help to you though because it's keeping you, it's preventing you. This block is helping you, preventing you from making a mistake to preventing you from jumping into a situation. And I really feel for most of you, this is work or your living circumstances. It has to do with secular things. I only have one cups card, which we'll get to in a second. So not a very emotional, month in that sense but it is a little emotional we'll get to that in a second but so yeah whatever is blocked in march that is a help to you and for for some of you this may come back around or something similar but even better is going to come back around also the two of swords uh here he's got her his hands over her eyes usually in the traditional white rider deck uh she has a blindfold uh so there are things she does she doesn't have all the information she needs to make a, a concise clear decision and you know you want to know what your footing is right so you don't want to go into anything and then have things change at the last minute or have any surprises especially if they're not so great surprises here at cancer so yeah this block is helping you there's something that you're you're not seeing, you're not aware of that would have had you drop this option anyway. This house, this job, this, uh, you know. Even with the visa and the bureaucratic stuff, there's some kind of delay or block that will be helping you. Maybe it was the government shutdown if you live in the US. Uh, and are dealing with like visas and work status and that sort of thing. Because I mean, perhaps they're backlogged or, you know, so maybe it's bought you some extra time and you may be feeling like you're under the gun, I've got to get this done. But at the same time, maybe there is legal recourse due to that stop or shutdown because the two of swords is very much kind of, yeah, that block kind of energy. Um, For some of you, this is not an out and out block, it's just a delay. And again, I feel like that is the case with payouts, inheritance, any kind of money that you are waiting on or something that you were expecting. It may be delayed, but not stopped. Again, that's gonna be different for all of you. I can't tell you outside of a private reading which of those, I'm just getting those messages for certain people who are watching. So some of you may need to seek uh, legal representation. You may need to talk to a lawyer because uh, we do have the ruin of legalities and justice and uh, wise counsel and advice. So you may need to seek uh, someone who knows more about whatever this is. You may need to talk to a lawyer or an advisor, uh, 
somebody in charge of somebody, somebody at immigration. If it's, you need to go to someone and get their help with this. And I feel like then that may be the person who can help you kind of push through the delay. What must be accepted about the month? We do have the 10 of wands in reverse. So this is kind of scattered energy because you've got so much on your plate. So in the upright, it's still like you have a lot to do, you're busy, but in the reverse, it's kind of like I gotta put down something. So I, I think it's gonna be a month where to delegate like anything that you can, like if there is, like especially if there's like a party or something being planned for this on top of what you're dealing with, with um, whatever the challenge and the help, like if you're moving or getting ready to start a new job or interviewing or trying to move or sell your home or purchase a new property. If there's also like being a party being planned or it's one of your kids' birthdays, definitely delegate, delegate to other family members because it's just, you can't take all of this on yourself, Cancer. But this is like the what must be accepted position. And it does seem like though there's someone around who would help you or somebody you can go to for whatever's causing you stress. For some of you, maybe it's going back to this, this delay, this information you're trying to get, or this, um, and this may be somebody that you don't know until March. So it, again, it could be somebody whose expertise you seek out, a counselor, a lawyer, an advisor of some sort who knows, you know, is very wise in the area that this is in, whatever that is for you. And, uh, so yeah, it's a newer influence, but a very protective one. So it is important that you seek out guidance for whatever is, whenever you kind of reach this block where you've gone as far as you can go, because maybe it's not your area of expertise or, yeah, maybe you don't know if you have uh, recourse for something that you thought was a done deal and then the rugs kind of pulled out from under you or it's delayed or, um, and you're not sure why and, and if you have anything that you can do to either push it along or just even to cover, cover your bum is what I'm hearing and I'm not from the UK so I, I don't know if I've got like a British spirit guide or if this is applying to someone uh, in the UK but yeah, there's something where like I gotta cover that and this person has the key or has the knowledge and they can tell me how to do that and make sure I don't get caught with, you know, something kind of wide open, a vulnerability or something that could cost me money, time, energy. But yeah, for some of you, this person's really going to ease the stress for you because you're going to feel like you're in good hands or have more protection with this person. So for some of you, the in good hands reminds me of like the Allstate jingle. So I feel like for some of you, this is insurance. It's a payout. Maybe it's a situation where they're, the insurance is offering me a really low payout. Should I talk to a lawyer? Again, I would say, yeah, I would definitely at least talk to someone. A lot of them have free consultations, uh, at least here in the States. I know it can be different in other places, but... Yeah, I would definitely have a consultation, somebody who looks at your situation and can give you some guidance and advice because I think it's also gonna be a situation where for many of you, you can just hand it over to them and they'll take care of it and get you a more fair settlement in anything like that, uh, like damage claims or car accident claims or you know where you've been injured maybe it was in something that happened. And again, this feels like it's already happened, Cancer. To you or someone close to you, your spouse, one of your kids, your parents, but it could be somebody that you are handling the, you're handling the claim for, you're handling the settlement for, maybe you're the executor of the estate and there's delays going on with that because some people are trying to block you from having what you're, you were left or block the directions left in someone's will. It can be any of those things. It seems like you do need an expert in the area and it's gonna be worth it to talk to them or at least kind of get their input because it seems like they're gonna be able to take a lot of the load off for you. The outcome of the month or of this energy, I do feel like for the most part, we were talking about all of the same things. Some of you are just going on vacation or maybe you're getting back from vacation early March, maybe you're on spring break. 
Because you are, you, it does seem like you're going to be able to get away from it all and have some fun, despite what all of this is. Maybe it is like kind of whatever this is going on that you're like, I need a break. I got to get out of here. Because we've got the Five of Cups uh, as the, uh, the outcome for March. So yeah, there's a disappointment, but it's not, not all is lost. And I don't feel like for most of you, this is like an, an emotional, like romantic loss. It's just, I'm disappointed that we can't move when we were planning to move. We can't, uh, we didn't get the house we wanted or, you know, I'm going to have to pay a lawyer to advise me. There, there's something that it's a minor loss and it's for most of you. And it's not all is lost and someone's going to help you. It may be though, until you talk to this person, whoever this is advising you. So we've got that in two different sections here. It may be until you talk to them, you may be again, overwhelmed or feeling like you've just, you're stressed out. You got too much going on. You don't know. You're stressed because you don't know. Again, I think you're stressed because you don't know cancer in March, the answer to something. And you may feel like you're like, no one knows, but there is someone who knows. And you will, you will find them. And I do feel like they are going to be the ones to help you pick up the pieces or help you realize, you know, all is not lost. No, we can salvage this. Actually, this is going to be better than what it was. Uh, we can fix this. So try not to get hung up in this. I think this is just the initial kind of feeling that something that you thought was going to be great falls through or turns out to not be great, but it's better to know. It's better to have that knowledge than to jump in and then suddenly it's it's one more thing to deal with, right? Or maybe a lot of a lot more things to deal with. So meet me over on Vimeo Cancer. Again, I'm gonna shuffle the fairy ring, gonna see what further wisdom and guidance we can get for you in your spiritual guidance reading. That link again is below. Check it out. I'll see you over there. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you back here next time.